Let's begin this energizing morning yoga sequence in extended child's pose. Separate your knees as wide as comfortable. Walk your arms forward. Rest your forehead down onto your mat and relax your shoulders, hips, jaw, and eyes. And take a big breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Continue to breathe in and out through your nose throughout the rest of today's practice. And when you're ready, rise up into a tabletop on your hands and knees. Let's wake up the spine with cat cow spinal waves. So just drop your belly, lift your chin, big inhale. Exhale to round your spine, tuck your chin, pull your navel in. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chin. This is cow pose. Exhale to round your spine, tuck your chin. This is cat back. One more time. Inhale, cow pose. Heart opens. Exhale, cat back. Round your spine. Come back to your tabletop and extend your right hand forward with your thumb pointing up. Extend your left heel back with your toes pointing down. Now firm up your core, pull your belly in. Inhale. Exhale, tap your right knee to your left elbow. Round your spine to make this happen. Inhale to reach, extend your arm and leg long. Exhale, tap, knee to elbow. Again, inhale, reach. Exhale, tap, round your spine. This time reach and hold. And then bend your left knee so your toes point up to the ceiling. Reach back with your right hand and grab onto your foot. It's somewhere back there. Extend your foot into your hand to lift your chest open. Reach your toes up to the ceiling. Three, two, one. Gentle release, extend your arm and leg out long and come back to your tabletop. Remember, keep your belly pulling in. And this time, reach your left hand forward, thumb pointing up, and reach your right heel back, toes pointing down. Inhale. Exhale, tap. Left elbow to your right knee. Round your spine, make it happen, pull your belly in. Inhale to reach. Exhale to tap. Inhale, reach. Exhale, tap. This time, reach and hold. Then bend your right knee and reach back with your left hand to grab onto your foot. You can always use a strap or a towel to lasso your foot in. Lift your right knee up, lift your right toes up towards the ceiling. Roll your shoulder open for three, two, one. Good job, gentle release, reaching your arm and leg out long. Hold for a moment and then come back to your tabletop. Now from here, move into a modified side plank with your right hand down, left arm high. So modify with your right knee down. Then take your left hand to your left hip, firm up your core, and lift your left leg up. Inhale, exhale, tap your left toes down. Inhale to lift, exhale, tap. Inhale, lift, keep it going. Tap, stay calm, lift, tap. Last time, lift, tap. Coming back to your tabletop, let's switch sides. Left arm down, left knee down, reach your right arm high. And just take your right hand to your right hip. Focus, firm everything up, and then reach your right leg up. Inhale, exhale, tap right toes down. Inhale to lift. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. You got this. Tap. Lift. Tap. Lift. Tap. Last time, lift. Then lower. Come back to your tabletop on your hands and knees. Now make your way to a high plank. So fingers fanned out wide on your mat. Press your body weight against gravity. Nothing is drooping forward here. In fact, I wanna see a little bit of an arch in your body, a little bit of that cat back as you draw your navel in, as you firm up through your legs, drive back through your heels and lengthen through the crown of your head. Three, two, 
one with grace lower down to your belly. Once you come all the way down, set up a low cobra. With your hands underneath your shoulders, pinch your elbows together behind you, zip your legs and feet together, and lift your chest up so your hands hover. Feel your upper body bob with each breath. Smooth and deep. Then gentle release, press up and back and a downward facing dog. And feel free to add a little bit of movement to settle into this down dog. Remember, you can always have a gentle bend in your knees if it helps you press your hips high and back so that you take the rounding out of your lower back. And then we're gonna do a little bit of a flow, one breath, one movement from here. So next inhale, come forward to your hide plank. As you exhale, lower down to your belly. Inhale, low cobra, peel up. Exhale to release. Inhale, press up to your high plank. And as you exhale, send it back to your downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Come forward to your high plank, then lower down to your belly. Inhale, low cobra, peel up. Exhale to release. Press your hands into the mat. High plank as you inhale. Down dog as you exhale. Keep it going. Inhale, come forward, high plank. Exhale, lower down to your belly. Low cobra, inhale, peel up. Exhale to lower back down for a high plank as you inhale. Send it back to down dog as you exhale. Keep it going. High plank. Lower down. Low cobra. And release. To your high plank. Down dog. One more time. High plank. Lower. Low cobra. Release. To your high plank. Down dog. Well done. From your downward facing dog, go ahead and reach your right leg up to the ceiling. Then bend your knee, open up through your hips, roll out your ankle. And then we'll switch sides. Release your right leg back down, reach your left leg high, bend your knee, open your hips, roll out your ankle. Then lower your left leg back down and step your feet all the way through to take a seat on your mat for a boat pose. With your hips down, place your feet flat on your mat and zip your legs together. Now lean back slightly and lift up through your chest so that your core engages. You'll know that you've gone too far if your back begins to strain. Bring your hands together at heart center. And if you wanted to take this a little bit further today, you could lean back further drag your feet back so only your toes touch the mat or even lift your shins parallel to the mat now find the place that works for you and keep lifting up through your chest take a big inhale exhale twist to your left inhale back to center exhale twist to your right now keep it going inhale to center exhale to twist inhale to center exhale to twist continue with your breath staying calm Cool and collected the whole time. And if you're feeling it in your back, firm your thighs together here and focus on your core. You should be feeling this in your core for three, two, one. Go ahead and lay down on your mat with your feet flat on your mat as if we were setting up for a bridge pose. So your feet about hip distance, arms down by your sides. And to set up proper alignment, go ahead and tilt your pelvis so that your lower back and your middle back flattens out on your mat. Maintain this pelvic alignment and lift your hips up. As you do so, feel your knees press forward and your glutes will engage. Inhale, exhale to lower your hips down to the mat. Now inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower and keep it going with your breath, maintaining proper alignment in your pelvis so that you're not arching through your spine. You want your lower abs engaged, your glutes will be firing, your knees press forward with every lift.
three, two, one. Release. Bring your knees into your chest for a moment for full wind pose, taking a breath or two to just reset through your lower back. So relax. Then from here, extend your left leg long down on your mat, reach your right arm straight out from your side and draw your left knee across your body for a supine spinal twist. With both shoulders grounding down, just breathe into your torso using your breath to stretch, massage and release tension. And come back to center and let's switch sides. Pull your left knee in, extend your right leg long, reach your left arm straight out from your side and draw your knee across your body. And relax into place. No need to strain or pull, just breathe. And come back to center for a full wind pose and feel free to add a little bit of movement just rocking around on your lower back or whatever feels good for you. And then whenever you're ready, extend your legs long into your final Shavasana. Take up as much space as you need and close your eyes and scan your body, releasing any tension that you don't need from your toes, through your hips, through your hands and your shoulders, even in the tiniest muscles in your face. And you're welcome to stay here as long as you like, but if you're ready to come out now, just wiggle out your fingers and toes. And draw your knees in, roll over onto one side and press yourself up to seated. And bring your hands together heart center and take a full inhale through your nose. Open mouth, let it go. This time, inhale. And exhale, namaste. Have a great day.